we live. Well, at this point, y'all can see what the fuck is going on. Now, look, I ain't even gonna call this shit piece of cheese, man. You know, that's a whole nother different thing. I'm talking to a lot of my subs. I, I plan to do different subs every week for the piece of cheese, but this just me talking to my nigga right here, man. Taylor Bell, you already know who the fuck he is. If y'all don't, go motherfucking follow him at Packers Kingdom, goddammit. But we about to get into this shit. Talk about this Packer football. So, hey, Taylor, Taylor Bell, bro. I asked you last time. It was probably, it was probably about two weeks ago. I asked you yeah. about that panic button. Is you gonna hit that panic button? Look, I had the panic button in the drawer. I had some papers. <laughs> I had some papers covering it. And then I took, I took the, pa hey, I took the panic button. I put it on, on, on top of the papers. Now that shit's on the desk. I ain't there yet. I ain't panicking yet. Where the fuck you at with this? You panicking yet? What's up? I'm not panicking. It's just that the only problem where I'm having, Aaron had this, Aaron Rodgers damn near had a perfect game um, against the Buffalo Bills. That is a number one defense. I was telling you that Packers bring out the best against the best opponents. When we play team against Detroit that that we better, we 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 go underneath them, and then when they beat us, then. They talk about oh we should have we should never you know underestimate a team. You never should underestimate a team. We you should always be to feel like an underdog. You see how we came up? We fought through diversity against Buffalo Bills, even though the the rest was cheating us. But we fought because we was the double was underdog. We had to keep it in the spread. But now they got us beating us beating them by three. I hope Aaron Rodgers. I hope they come with some play like. That that like I was telling you, I was telling you that how you throw that ball to uh Deguaro, that little screen shit, and just let him take off. It's it's like Tunyon is not developed yet. It's, he still got an ACL problem. He's still working through it. Put Deguaro in him. He blocked. He catches the ball. He run routes. He, man, let that man. He's an ace back slash tight end. You can, man. I think I think I'll be. I think we can be comfortable next year if we let Tunyon go and just draft a um. A tight end next year, like you know, Darnell Washington from Georgia, uh, Myers. Yo, oh, hold on, give me one second. Hell yeah, see. Well, you already see what's going on. I'm here. I'm here with my boy, man. You know, we we just talking some Packer football, man. You know. Okay. So, Y'all see what's going on in the background. You know, the, the pack attack is in, in full motherfucking representation on this motherfucker, too. I don't know. You already know that. We're going to get more tight. Just so we can have this seal up really quick. All right. All right. So that's the only thing that's going to be there. Okay. Cool. You see, no water's coming out. Right. Bring it down. Right. Ain't no water. Wow. You're at all for you guys the same initially. Okay. All right. All right, well, thank you. All right, back to what we're talking about. But Hell yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. They in my house, uh, Miss Dorothy. <coughs> they, they in my house, Miss Dorothy, if you look for them. Oh, I They're doing my sink, Dorothy. Okay. okay. You up. Uh, but, um, but, but, yeah, but what I'm saying is that I'm not ready for support. I'm not ready. Um, so how about this? What what line, that killed me. I, I mean, I'm used to it, but like at the same time, we're not really one player away from this. Hey, we, look, I was gonna get into that a, a little later, but since you mentioned it, bro, listen, I'm gonna be honest, man. Would I want a player? Obviously, I always want good players, but bro, I've been a Packer fan for a long time. When is the last fucking time we actually did something at the fucking trade deadline? If we're going to make any noise, it's the only, in the offseason. The, the only person we really had got is Cobby. Like, but, you know, that's the only person. And, but Aaron Rodgers, it's a shame that Aaron Rodgers has to demand, y'all better get Cobby or I'm not playing. He had to demand that, though. But like he said, like, they, like I was hearing the uncle say, like, okay, when they told Aaron Rodgers to shut up and just play, Okay, Aaron Rodgers, okay, y'all want to do this? Not for the screw all over. 50, give me 50. $50 million a year and I'm playing. And then now, the GM playing tit for tat. He being petty. Okay, you took $50 million a year. I'm not going to give you what you want. You already got what you, you got your money. Now, I'm going to just let you just waste your career. And I ain't going to do nothing. Like they said, they think they fool us. All you, do, all you have to do is make a conversation with Aaron Rodgers and make us assume that you're helping him. 
but you're really not doing anything. You got him, Sammy. Sammy Walker's a dude that had 80 or 90 snaps and couldn't get not one, couldn't even get off the ball. Are you serious? Yeah, that I mean, was a bad wanna, game by if him. If we wanted, like, I'm, I'm just being honest. If we wanted an injury prone guy, we could have got Julio. He produced more. Damn, it could be one catch for 50 yards. That's a that's a lot. And just let him be injured. What is Sammy Walker's is doing? Like, okay, so I, look. What what do you take? What do you take from this Buffalo game? Like what what's the good stuff you've seen? What can we take from this Buffalo game and bring it to Detroit with us? Start off fast, just like I did second quarter. As soon as I came out halftime, what y'all do? Run the ball, play action. It killed me. The number one D Aaron Rodgers had two hundred and eleven yards. Ain't nobody in the NFL done that. Aaron, I see. I seen prime Aaron Rodgers Buffalo Bulls game when he extended the plays. Tell Sam Walkers when Sam Walkers, I mean uh, Sam Ture did a Adams move when he saw that the the, the the safety back he cut back wide open. That that's what Aaron Rodgers looking for. Like Sam I Walker, said, Sammy Walkers, I said, if that's the case, Sam Ture could be my number one receiver if he put it up production like that. Hey, I guarantee that I said in one of my videos, I'm like, look, don't think Aaron Rodgers in the film room didn't call that play out and told all the receivers, look, this what the fuck get you open. need to do when shit breaks down. Just get open. Off, that's why it's called off script schedule. That's why it's called off script schedule. Aaron Rodgers is playing his best game when he's moving out the pocket. You blitz, you that's your ass. That's why a lot of teams don't blitz because they know what he can do. That's why Jets game. They just ran four. They knew that our line was beat, so they can run four. They seen Bontiari get in. Bontiari shut down Von Miller so bad. Von, they had to move Von Miller to the other side. And You're Von right. Miller still got shut down. And Von Miller asked, what happened to you passing? No, nah, we ain't done. We finna run the ball. What you mean? Uh, Aaron Jones is literally top five rushing, rushing, uh, rushing leader in the NFL. Top five. 100 yards. If we get Aaron Jones involved, he would have 100 yards a game. He got a buck Literally. 40. Come on now. Look at the Chicago Bears game. Look at. Come on, man. Look at the Patriots game. Man was. Man's we had 90 yards. Easy. Let's talk about Saquon, Josh Jacob, Derek Henry. That guy can put up the, the same production as everybody else is. If y'all give him the ball, he's our number one receiver and running back. Not even Aaron Rodgers is the best player on the field. It's Aaron Jones. And then when Aaron when when Aaron Rodgers went under the center, snapped the ball, and you had you see Aaron Jones ran fifty yards. He's not like, what's up? What happened to this week one? If y'all did this week one, I guarantee we'll be six and we'll be six and one. And Joe Barry, you got all these. You got too much fucking too much talent to be last in the run defenders. How you gonna have a number one passing game? I mean, passing a, a secondary. What a terrible run defense. What? You're right. That don't, make no, damn, that don't be, make no sense. And, and I'd be damned if we lose to the Lions, and the Lions' defense is 32 overall. The last defense in the game, in, in, in the whole NFL. If we lose to that, we got a lot of somebody got to get fired. I, I'm hitting. If, all season, like I say, we all saw Aaron Rodgers for the Packers organization letting you down. You know why he took the money? Because he, he knew damn well they wasn't going to do nothing with it. Anyway. <laughs> they were going to stack up more on defense. That's what a hundred some million dollars went towards defense. Ten million is on offense. How does, how does that work? And what's going work. on with What's going on with the manager? Why would you get a dude 38 years old, $50 million a year? If that's the case, you could get we could have got the goddamn Russell Wilson trade. Two first rounds, a buckload of draft picks. But also, Goop never this year, Goop had a terrible drafting. Our only star that the hidden gym we got is Quay, Romeo, and Sam Toure, I say. Devontae. Jonathan Ford, 
Uh, who else? Who else we saw? Uh, Sean Ryan, um, the rookie. I ain't, he ain't he ain't fared out too well. Walker, pre, one time. What happened? What happened to? What happened to? It, this we didn't see nothing in the off season. Is is was our defense just good because we were playing against weak ass offenses, or oh just or what is it? Because what happened to the same fire? What happened to Gary and stopping stopping the runs? Like it's not hard telling your edge rushers to hold their ends up. All you gotta do is come up and turn. Don't go all the way up the field. Put your man back. What happened to Campbell filling up the the holes? You know why? That's a that's a coaching problem. You know why? Because you don't you have your your linebackers sit sit and drop back and play the pass all game. So you know what they do? They run just sweep. They run reverse. They run draw. And what is you doing having your OC as your 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 best offense of coach playing offensive coordinator? Where the hell hey. did that come from? When that first happened, I I wasn't I too knew, sure about it. I'm like him. I'm like I'm like Steno. I'm like ah, I don't know. You know, and hey, you, be good with the old line. We give him that. Put, but bro, the whole offense, I'm not sure. And then you put, and you put your your defense a tackle at a lineman as a lineman coach. I <laughs> don't know a damn thing about go uh, lineman. All you know is defensive line. And then you let you let. Mike Smith Lee. Like we could we could have kept Matt Patton if we knew Joe Barry was gonna do this. At least Mike Patton let them let them do let them guys fly around. Savage had his best Savage made a hell of plays with Mike Patton. I mean he was terrible, but he made plays. That last year he did. The last Daniel year of Mike Savage, Patton. You Daniel Savage is built like a corner. Put him slot and put Douglas big ass in the backfield. Let him play safety. Hey, bro, when Rudy Ford and Keyshawn Nixon played safety, when remember when uh, Amos got hurt and left or whatever yeah. happened? Bro, they did better than fucking Savage. Man, he, let Rudy Ford, he let Rudy Ford and Keyshawn Nixon, two corners, come in and play better than him. Rudy Ford. I'll just put Rudy Ford safety and let um, Savage play um, Rover. For real. That, hey, and, that's and what they Douglas might – Douglas Savage wrote because Douglas is not a slot guy. Douglas Outside. is a rebound guy. He's not. He's not fast enough. Oh, you put Stokes. You let Stokes play that inside shit. He got but, the speed. Because Stokes is Stokes is not a man coverage guy. Let me tell you, no, Stokes is not a zone guy. Let me tell you that he ain't never played no damn zone in Georgia. He played man. He got. Yeah, he's not good speed. in zone at all. He and, and he never tackled. Know why he picks the ball off and take off? He's not a tackler either. Oh, the right. He's a uh, bro. Is a he's a he's a ball hawk. Just like Douglas. Douglas and guys is ball hawk. And we told y'all don't put uh, Douglas in the slot. He's too slow. Stephon, man, they put Stephon Diggs and Douglas all game, and Douglas got toasted because he's not. A, now you had uh, Douglas outside with Diggs, then that would have been an even match. Yep, and then you had and you let Diggs and Stokes play against you let Stokes play against Diggs. What the hell? Jair probably was thinking you paid Jair all this money. Like, and like to be honest, if Jair if Jair would have requested a trade on the deadline, I wouldn't be mad. Go ahead and go sign somewhere else. Same thing with Amos and and, and, and Aaron Rodgers. Sell all them guys. That's full rebuild. We, and then we just gotta deal with each of them dead caps at, the, at this at this point, because y'all not y'all not showing no urgency, man. All right, so look, <clears throat> what? Hey, we can't sleep on Detroit. Number one, as this whole season went by, you see, we can't sleep on anybody. But they like, hey, they can score. Hey, one thing they can do is score, so we're going to have to keep up with them, man. We're going to have to come up with a good defensive game plan against Detroit because, hey, no matter if they lost or not, Detroit could put up 28. They could put up 30, you know? So, we, hey, we're going to see what this defense is made of, too, this week. So, you know, we're going to see what we made of. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 
Oh, give me one second. No problem. Oh, Ty, you don't have work tomorrow. Oh, I got work at 6. 6 to 11. 11 o'clock. So I work six hours. Five hours. Damn, six in the morning? But, uh, hey, bro. go get that bag. Go get yeah, that bag. Hey, if they ask you to stay, shit, stay. I get paid tomorrow. Oh, uh, I got a doctor's appointment at ten thirty, so I gotta leave at ten thirty. I'm, I'm gonna let him know. But we get paid tomorrow too, so. But yeah, but like what I'm saying is that it's so much plays that Aaron, because Aaron Rodgers really realized, like, damn, watching speed. He's faster than MVS. And and you look at MVS now, MVS is still dropping balls like crazy. Like, I would show you the stats, but I don't know if we can go off this app. But I will tell you how many drop balls MVS had his whole career. This man barely he catch he catch like forty eight percent of his passes. That's why we let uh, him go. I, I was gonna say fifty fifty, but yeah, hey, forty eight is close enough. <laughs> That's why we let him go. I see the reason why we let him go because he's he's just a clutch guy. He's not a guy. He's not consistent. Okay, so from what you've seen so far, do you think Christian Watson got better hands than MVS? Wait, he'd be way better than MVS. Way better. And but see if what yeah MVS. I mean Watson. If Watson just put ten more pounds on and Watson gonna be a bowling ball. If he figure out. Okay, he too thin, and he's six five. And he can, if he just know how to rebound it, if he gets some strong hands, he gonna be crazy. Hey, that play looked good when I seen that. I I'm see, like, oh yeah. I then the motherfucker that, didn't get up. I see when Chris Watson, I seen Buffalo Bills. They backed up. You can't play man on no guy like that. You gotta have too a fast. Skill, skill safety. And, too and, fast. And also, Aaron Rodgers seen that. Jordan Poirier or Michael Hyde wasn't back there. So that's why he threw it deep like that. He knew that it was two inexperienced safeties back there. Aaron Rodgers still got it. And the, both of the Bills games should tell you. And Aaron Rodgers still get critics. You see, when he called his players out, they play, they play their best game in their next game. Romeo Dobbs. Who, who, who suspected Romeo Dobbs to, to have a touchdown that game? Have a have a a fifty fifty win, and he had a fifty fifty win on the sideline. Hey, Aaron called him out last week. They, I think I thought I think he was talking about him because he, he don't understand that he he, he loves Romeo Dobbs, and he's gonna love Sam Toure. So these receivers will play out his next year. I don't mind, I don't mind him staying, but Goo got Goo got to go, bro. I, I I love your services against getting Jair and Clay Matthews and or did he was he a year of Clay Matthews? I don't think so. No, nah. no. Nah. I, I I forget. You. Thank you for your services, and and take your friend Joe Barry with you. That's how you feeling, man. I'm feeling like that because I see and, and if if you let Matt LaFleur coach, you see we get gets the Bills when you let him coach. So the problem was Aaron Rodgers wanted to throw the ball the whole game. It's his problem. He was the problem when Aaron Rodgers listened to Matt LaFleur. Like he said, man, me, me and Matt LaFleur is the closest thing ever. And it, it just got better this year, like he said, every week. So I hope, my hope was we're going to Cal Shanahan offense this season. I'm mean, just this, this season. Two great backs. Well, we couldn't do redo Kyle Shanahan because our line was fucked up. But you you use the guara. Use the guara. You see Marcel Lewis bullied that dude, took that dude out the play. Wiped him you out. You see the guara took the dude out the play. You see when Boxy R is presence, you don't have to worry about that left side. You can let him let Elton and uh Jenkins do their thing. Let Let Bakhtiari, Bakhtiari, uh, Bakhtiari he, do that thing. He just held it down. Right, just watch the right side. That's all you have to do. Definitely. But the more Yas Norman play right tackle, the more he get familiar with it. Yeah. The thing is that a, a player gets so familiar with the position, then somebody go down. Now he got to switch. Now he playing terrible. No, why? Whack. Because we our guards gotta stay healthy. If our guards stay 
Like, if Baltimore and Elton Jenkins play their first game, you think Minnesota would have tortured Aaron Rodgers like that? No. Nope. Hell no. Nope. Baltimore already shut down on Von Miller. Did Von, Von Miller didn't have a sack on Aaron Rodgers? Hell no. Nah, they- Not a sack. Nah. The only set that he got is because Zach Tom. And there was only one. And Bob Myers played a perfect game against the Buffalo Bills. 99.1%. One percent mess up. One pressure. He shut down the whole thing. That's why I said, bro, it was easy watching it because it was so much good. I was watching play after play. I'm like, when is the bad plays going to come? And we had our bad plays, but. The only problem I'm having Still, special teams it have not got better. Nah. Why do y'all still have? Um, you see, y'all see Amari Rogers play good in the slot. Why is y'all keep touching this man? Go get a real y'all. So go get a real uh punt return. We're supposed to be all in this season because we not have no money next season. Zero, and we gotta play Elton. If if we can't afford Elton, y'all better trade Elton. Y'all better trade Elton off, off season. Y'all better trade him for the uh the resign deadline. Go get some compensation. Like Am- Amos too. Go get some compensation from him. And we can't afford those guys. Go get some third round, some fourth rounds, and actually move up in the draft. But I have, I still have, if we beat, if we beat, if we come out with that Buffalo Bills, if Madeline Floor coached like he coached last week to Detroit. That fucking defense is run defense is terrible. Aaron Jones can have 300 yards. Run the ball. That, that's the run the ball. Hey, the ball. AJ, hey, AJ been playing bad all year long. He even got 50 against fucking Buffalo. You know why? You know why? Aaron, Aaron, AJ, AJ Dillon don't have bursts. So you have to go under the quarter, under the center, and just hand the ball for dive. Let him dive the ball. That's why he was so good at. <laughs> Like you play, you can't play him with shotgun. The lineman is not good enough to do that. They can't hold up their blocks too long. That's what I'm saying. And Christian Watson is important next game. He's important for the rest of the season. He's important. And Alan Lazard. I remember that catch Alan Lazard did, 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 uh, did to Detroit last game last season. The season Crazy. before that. Crazy. Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard breathe and live off. Detroit. So he got to come pre- prepared. You're right. I ain't never seen my team. I ain't never seen a full team. I ain't never seen a full Packer team since what? Freaking 2011. Everybody been down. Baltimore been down. Let, like I said last year, we was hurt. Let Green Bay play with a full team. Let's see how we really actually do. Because like like I said, like man, we gotta we gotta step up, man. It starts from coaches. Coaches gotta be hype. Players gotta be hype. You gotta do you gotta do plays that the that the that the players is familiar with and love. If you do something that they never done before and they never actually practice, they're like, what the fuck is this? So when they mess up, they not they're not used they not they not they not used to zone. They used to play a man. They built. They, they live off man. Jair live off man. He got paid because he's a man corner. Jair's not a, a a real tackler like Ramsey and like no. That man is a man that that's gonna take your best receiver away. Hey, he, he challenged Stephon Diggs Stephon, all no, fucking Stephon game. So mad. Stephon Diggs so mad. He went on the on the internet said, "I want no. You didn't win. It's because you got hey. a team behind you." He but was mad during Stephon, the game. Stephon, hey. Jair erased you, boy. Hey, and I, Sewell I, I, slammed I, his ass after a touchdown, at, too. I was looking at, where's Stephon Diggs? Where's Stephon Diggs? But when they put Stephon Diggs on the Stokes and Douglas, oh, you found him. But when he was against Jair, where he at? Hey, getting frustrated, pushing hey, back and doing all you, kinds know, of stuff. I know you've seen that picture when uh, Jair was standing up and and, and, and Stephon Diggs was on the floor. Right. Like how uh, Justin Jefferson did Marshawn Lattimore, but just the other way. Put your guys, put your guys in, man, please, Joe Barry. Joe Barry, this, 
if we lose to the uh, 30 uh, uh, team, okay, they're the number one team with explosive plays, but we have enough talent to go to go head on with all these teams. We can go toe to toe with Bills. We can go toe to toe with Chiefs. We can go toe to toe with Cowboys. We can go toe to toe with anybody in the NFL. That's what our defense is built off of. If you use it right, I guarantee you. If Vic Banjo, a uh, Mike Zimmer, uh, 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 um, any good defensive coach, no, my thing is that you bring in Joe Barry because he's your fucking, he's your best friend. I thought, I thought this job was who see who's qualified, not because he's your friend. This, now this is what your friend gets you. <laughs> he came off the, he finna go against the team that he was 0 16 with. <laughs> He had the worst defense in De- I go like Detroit had some outstanding uh, players, but no DC had, can coach them. Now you <coughs> I didn't know we had a Mike Pitton in the air. I, I didn't know we had a twin to me. I, I, I didn't know. Why the hell you why the hell y'all signed a what happened to last year, Joe Barry? What happened? Who's was literally a top 10 defense. What happened? It's the same team. Is, 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 the, is his coaching is washed? Oh, he was a one-hit one and they get another contract. Same thing with Campbell. So we paid all these money to you guys. So was y'all just trying to get a contract or was y'all actually trying to play? Like Buccaneers, even though Buccaneers, all their players got paid, but they still playing their ass off. Y'all too comfortable. The only the only dude that should be comfortable is Aaron Rodgers because he he earns it. Fifteen years of his life, he put us in playoffs every year. The only year we to go to the playoffs when he went down. That's about it. But every year we are spoiled to success because we had the right defense and the right coaches of mind. Matt Lafleur, you're a good coach. Take a step back. Your records say that you're a damn good coach. 44 to, uh, wins, 13 losses in three years. No, 18 losses in three years. You're a damn good coach. A Rod's got A Rod's got to let Matt LaFleur coach. Let him do his thing. You see Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, you see the you see what happens when you let Matt LaFleur coach and stop throwing, stop being pass happy. Look at Aaron Jones. <laughs> All right, so Buffalo Bills with the number one, the Buffalo Bills with the number one run defense, and he got they got shit on. (laughs) With with an offensive line, with an offensive line with no continuity. Offensive line, line, offensive line have uh, had a perfect game against a defense like that. Keep on build off that, please. This game do not go off something that worked, please. This is Matt Lafleur's problem. He always want to try something new every week. Stick with the run. You, we know it. You know it. Aaron Rodgers know it. This is a run first team. This is an Aaron Jones team now. This is Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon team. You do it what they like. Cause if y'all, if y'all, if y'all thought it was Aaron Rodgers team, y'all y'all are trading gonna get Claypool. Y'all are trading. Hey. Get well, and Brandon the only Cook thing, a, Brandon Cook can be a free agent. If 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 uh they pay him an eighteen if they uh reconstructed his contract, Eagles and the Texans is 14-14. If the Texans beat the Eagles, I don't know, I don't know. Eagles is is tied up with the um oh it's all bad. I think Eagles gonna get down to reality. I think they gonna get down just like the Cardinals seven and zero and they start getting whooped. Remember that. <laughs> Same thing. Hey, so look. The only, the only complete team I say is Buffalo Bills. And, and, and Buffalo Bills is a complete team. They got hey, so they, look. Yeah. What 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 uh my bad. What uh what is your percentage? How confident are you that we're gonna go into Detroit and get a win? Where you at? 85, 90? What what percentage? I'm, I'm, I'm a honey. I'm all in. Okay. If offense start rolling, if offense start rolling the first five minutes, first minute. If Chris Watson can 
if Chris Watts can run a streak and catch a bomb for the touchdown, be oh shit. You know, I'm coming off my chair. <laughs> Hey, we wait. We waiting on that I'm one. I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on that. I am waiting. It's coming. Hey, it's Romeo gonna come. Dubs got his. Sam Toure got his. Chris Watson, you need yours. You definitely do. If if these three crops can grow between now, keep going to now to the end, y'all be we're gonna be so good. And our defense and the defense actually play up to their potential. If yeah, we win this game. And we everything played, and we had a perfect game. Jair and man coverage, savage tackling, everybody tackled, everybody ran to the ball. D line actually gets key stops. Fourth quarter, come out, start, 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 start busting. Then I'd be more comfortable going against the uh, Cowboys, then the Titans, because. Tony Pollard's a hell of a nigga. I'm going to let you know. Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott, Jair Eric can shut down C.G. Lamb. Stoke, bro, we have a team that can match up with any team in the league. Any team. Hey, what they going to do with Parsons? They going to put they gonna put Bakhtiari on him? <laughs> Nick Parsons ain't going nowhere. I'm going to let you know. Hey, they say he the next Lawrence Taylor. Fuck no. Let him play this Bakhtiari. <laughs> hey, look at Von Miller. Look how all these edge guys that got shut down. Zero pressures against what Bossy are in. Zero. Why do you think Von Miller has to go? They can put Von Miller on Josh Nyman. They can put Michael Parsons on Josh Nyman too. <laughs> You're right. Because they see Bossy already shut down Von Miller. Like, what the hell? And hey, he Von was Miller rolling too. The line. Von Miller got bullied. He got bullied. I'm, hey, I love right. team, man. I just hope I just hope Aaron Rodgers stop being an asshole and take and, and lower down that cap. Let us take 20 million off that deal. And let's win a Super Bowl next season because I'm feeling if we it's this year was coaching, but it, this, this year was coaching fault. It was Joe Barry fault and a Matt LaFour problem. This year wasn't him on the players. So I excuse the players this season. It was on adjustments and coaching staff. Great like, points, man. Great points. I thought I thought we were supposed to use Quay Walker as a Michael Parsons. Let him play edge. Have you noticed Campbell when when we drafted Quay Walker, Campbell didn't want to play no more. He said, Okay, y'all paid me all this money and I don't need no help. I got all pro because of me. He I'm the mic player. You let 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 Camp, let Campbell play the middle by himself. Play Quan Walker Blitz. Let that nigga rush. Just let that nigga have fun. That's what we. That's why we. That's why we got him for. We didn't get Quay Walker just to sit him in the middle and just just, just tell him to go. Look, all you gotta do. Let me tell you this: man up your corners, send Quay Walker on the blitz. Princeton Smith, Rashad Gary hold up their ends. Defense hold up their ends and clog up the. Clog up the gaps. And Campbell see the ball go. He see the ball run, uh, the, the, the ball carrier run. He runs. That's simple. It's not hard. And, 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 and if you got to bring Amos and let him blitz, bring, no, bring Savage. It's it's not hard. It's not hard to deep. It's not hard to call plays. Oh, oh, let's go. Okay, DJ Reed and, and, and uh, Ken Cart. Uh, sprinkle Devontae Wyatt in as well, cause he he got te- he getting his technique up. Have DJ Reed go a slant, go down block, right? Like he down blocking, and let Kenny Clark do a loop. Bam! That's what Jets did to us. They fucked us, us. The front. We didn't know what the hell they were doing. They was looping. There was Sp- Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. What the hell is a Spider Man? Hey, it's a <laughs> put your ass in the web. Everybody, everybody knows that. Okay, this Packers team supposed to be elite defense, and they and they offense and defense is predictable. Okay, let's go. <coughs> we know they're gonna do zone, so let's hit him with the uh, the crossing route. Hit him with the crossing route, and they're gonna fuck, gonna fuck him up. And they hit us with a crossing route until we stop it. Okay, we stop that. Okay, now 
slants, digs. You know why? Because if you're going to play zone, play a man zone. Let let them press up and then let them let them follow. It's not hard. And Sewell I, on the outside. And the reason why I say that Quay Walker and, 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 and Barnes is coming back. Let them two play. I, I, to me, I don't know. Let Campbell rest. They, let, hey, they got some sets where all three of them could play. They they got no, some look, sets with that. That's on Madden. But let's uh <laughs> But let's this this let 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 Campbell rest. Let them rest. Let I don't know. Let Elton Jenkins rest as well. Let Zach Tom get more play time. Let them guys let them guys rest. Bartiari, who who who? Well, you got Aiden Hutchinson. Mm. Oh yeah, Bartiari shutting down Aiden Hutchinson as well. So. But Bontiari have not been practicing for two days. Is that his two rest days? Or hopefully it's not his knee problem. I will believe it's rest days, and he's probably going to be out there tomorrow. He better be. Yeah. Because I need him I need him for two games straight. This game and next game. Titans game, they don't have too much of good, a good defense. Hey, so who do we have after this game? Uh, Cowboys. Okay. Then it's Titans and then it's Eagles. Then okay. it's then it's uh Bears, I think. Then it's uh uh Eagles, Rams, Vikings, one of them. And we gotta play Detroit the last game. Hey, well look but I ain't gonna lie to you, Dan Campbell gonna bring his A game to he always brings his A game against us. Just like the Raiders bring their A game to the to the Broncos all year, every year. So Dan, Dan Campbell gonna bring heat because he's very aggressive. They offense, all we gotta do is stop their offense and make them one dimensional defense. They gotta rely on their defense too much, and you can't rely on them. You know they have but some look. good games. They can have a shootout, like A, a-, a-, a- Rod said. You damn right, we should be able to shoot out, have a shootout with these dudes. <laughs> you damn yeah, he right. Said he said, he said that. that. He said that in the press conference. Yeah, I want to shoot out. Well, look, no, we don't want to hey, We want to carry the ball and milk the clock. <laughs> and look, and we ain't got to we ain't got to deal with we Hawkinson. We got to put up more than seventeen points. Give, give, give him twenty five. Give him twenty five. Defense, you got to have takeovers. Douglas Savage, if the ball comes to you, you got to catch the ball and take off. You gotta catch the ball, cause it's, if if John if if Jared Goff is having out, he I think Jared Goff is the second quarterback with turnovers. First is uh first is uh what you call it? I think Andy Dalton or somebody. But we have we gotta have turnovers. We gotta have sacks. See the the, the thing with Z, Z Z brought in that defense. Z was the hype man. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get you. We are gonna get you. He said, I'm going to eat you. Just like he told Aaron Rodgers, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. We don't, we don't have that hype man on, on the line. Rashad Gary is the quiet man. Like, yeah, we're going to eat. We hungry. Hey, man, talk to your team, man. The secondary can't do all this stuff. Can't fix all the problems. But Jair, Stokes, Doug, Jair and Stokes, Savage, Amos. That's hey, not- somebody on that D-line got to be more nasty, too, talking shit. That's Remember a, Mike that's Daniels? tackle. And, and, and this is Amos. This is the first year Amos had a worst career. He had his worst career this year. You can't have your worst career trying to get a contract. And Joe you gotta Barry. Step up the rest of this rest of this year, man. It ain't over until twelve says it's over. It ain't over. If he still have hope, we damn sure we all should have help. And all these Packer fans that say, "Oh, I'm going to the Bills." Well, take your ass and go to the Bills. Bye. We don't need you. We don't need no negativity around here. Positivity and keep our heads up. Hey, you got damn right. And look, I'm gonna just end it on that. It, it ain't that. gonna get no. It ain't gonna get no better than that. I, hey, hey, Packers Kingdom is my boy Taylor Bell. Go, go follow him, y'all. And uh, you know, we gonna we gonna be doing this a little more. So you know, just yeah, just me and my boy I sitting back. Ass Packer fans, get the fuck on. Don't you don't have to just take your shit off and go. Hey. 
Y'all heard the man. Because it's gonna be worse the time. This we could we could have been worse than Matt Lafleur is a good coach. It's the reason why we're three and five because we held her down. We could be way worse than this. We could be we could be a Detroit uh, Detroit Lion right now, one and six. Nigga, be happy you got three wins because we, we th- this team was with one and six. We three and five. And we beat, just from and, just from the talent we have, coaching we just, has just, failed us. Just our coach, our coach just has to be on point. Next man up, if Campbell ain't playing, uh, Eric, whoever is the linebacker next, next man up, next man up. Everybody starters on this team ain't no bitch players because you never know who's gonna go down. Next man up, and let's go, man. Let's get this. Let's get this thing, man. Y'all got y'all money. Let's get a championship. I don't want a first round. I don't want no 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 top ten pick. I want a Super Bowl. Hey, I'm tired of the first round picks. Y'all heard the man. Hey, we want a Super Bowl, and the only way we're gonna get one is if y'all be positive. So, hey, just be positive, and let's see what happens this Sunday, and then we'll go from there, y'all.